is there any improvement in the existing RADIT system? Recently, we have got a push to system develop. Now, if you see here, the changes what we have done is instead of inducing the gases and pre-purging, what we are doing is we are pushing the air and the gas together through a push through system. This helps us put the same system in larger chamber areas and where you have higher temperature requirements, there we can do all this. So these push through systems are basically meant for that and consequently uh, other benefit what we have got out of this is that it has a, a longer life for the fan, ID fan. Are there any recuperative model of this system? Definitely we have developed one recuperator for these burners. You can have a look. What we have is in ordinary burners, the one what you see, the flue gases are sucked through one fan and then they are thrown out in this atmosphere. But here what we do is, here the gases are entering a heat recovery system and from that heat recovery system, they push, they go through the, uh, the free flue passage shown here and the push through burner pushes air from one angle air and the preheated from the other exit goes into the flame. So we are preheating the flame up to a temperature of around 100 degrees centigrade which gives us a roughly saving of around 5 to 7 percent. Uh, what kind of gases can we use in this system? We are using major LNG, NG and LPG or propane as the major fuels. But other lean gases like uh, methane gas and town gas also can be fired but for that you have to refer to us. And what are the main safety features of this system? What we have is uh, there is a vacuum proving, proving switch till the time there is a vacuum in the system you don't get the firing, you don't get the gas in the system. At around minus 3 mm it can vary you know depending on the length of the tube and the system but normally we are talking it is around minus 0.3 mm. So once the vacuum is created, then only we have a uh, solenoid wall, fast opening, fast closing, or actuating. Now once we see that the flame is established, then the other second solenoid wall opens. The system has got a double block of solenoid walls, so which has a very high level of safety factors which are approved the world over. So, we, it, the safety factor we see is around 100,000 times into 100,000 times, then that is the level of safety what we have in these systems. And you have, what, what if the flame fails? The whole system will shut down because there is a flame sensor inside that. So, the flame sensor won't sense the flame, it will immediately shut off the solenoid valve and the whole sequence will go to a off mode. And what is the power required in this system? Much lesser than 0.1 kilowatt or so. And what about uniformity? Uh, because the flame is being formed in one area, how can you have a uniform system across the entire application area? That's a very good question, you know. I would forgotten to tell you a very important aspect of the whole system. The first two meter or one meter or half meter where we have the firing zone, where we have the live flame, that body, it's heated around to a temperature of around 650 plus to around 800, it time, at times it goes to that temperature. Now at that temperature, any body starts emitting, any black body starts emitting infrared rays and infrared rays, they, they travel at a speed of uh, 186,000 miles per second. Not even that, we don't stop it there. Now what happens is, the whole heat is spread over the area where the tube goes, that is how we design a particular element depending on what is the surface area we have to cover, how much heat dissipation what we want and to top it off, what we do is we have a very effectively designed circulation system and depending on the pressures what we can do inside the uh, oven and then we have done a CFD on this. And there we have been able to achieve a temperature difference of 2 degrees centigrade plus minus at an operating temperature of around 130 degrees centigrade. Uh, what all uh, applications can we really use this in? Oh, this is a very versatile system, sir. Okay. Now, we have tried it 
in uh, means uh, Owens yeah, series to mean. start with, and Owens we were very successful. Uh, we after doing Owens we did a washing machine for Tata Motors. That, that was the first application what we did for KN washing machines. Then we came down to thermic fluid heater for a company making pigments. Now where we can't have direct uh, high temperatures, whether indirect high temperatures also. So you use thermic fluid heaters. Now instead of energizing thermic fluid heater with other inefficient systems, so we use these uh, elements as immersed in that. And we are very successful and now we have recently got an order from Arriva also for uh, their autoclaving. So for autoclaving industry, they use thermic fluid heaters, but those thermic fluid heaters can be again energized from these elements. Then liquid tax, as I said, and then space heating. Any particular industry you would recommend these systems for? Wherever heating is required from 15 degrees C till 550 degrees centigrade, we recommend these. We have done these uh, applications. So you can think of automotive industries. You can think of uh, paint baking. You can think of liquid heating tanks wherever they are for surface pre pre preparation tanks for uh, powder baking for uh, uh, transformers, the, transformer, for transformers and distribution industry. So it, it's an endless uh, this thing. Industry, uh, okay. Yeah, you can really cover so many things. So many advantages. I think you should have got some awards. Have you got any awards or recognition for this system? Uh, you're right, sir. We did get. Is it? So first, uh, in 1999, uh, when we showcased our technology, so Madam Vasudha Raja Sindhya was there at our stall. And that time country had an outlay of investment into the power sector of around 7,000 crores. Just by this system, we proved that the outlay can be much lower if we have proper statistics available to us. We had retrofit many electrical heating applications to our ga radiant gas heating systems. And that year, we got an award for the best technology introduced in the country by NSIC, that's National Small Scale Industries Corporation, during Tech Mart 1999. Then in the year 2003, we got an award for excellence in technology from CII and SIDBI.